welcome guys i hope you're having a great day let's go ahead and get started with your tarot read so what do we got going on we're going to use the numbers to begin with i do have the month of the year mixed in here so this is kind of your spirit guides of uh way of being able to step forward uh and bring something very personal into the read for you and this lets you know that this is going to be something that might resonate a bit deeper for you than for other people so we have the number 12 29 the month of december the number one so you're going to know if this is you know an important date if this has to do with an address if it has to do with a phone number oh we had a whole bunch that wanted to pop out as well as those guys so we'll see what we got the month of april 22 4 21 23 february 11 17 30 on 28 i'm being told letters now so we will grab some of the letters and we'll see what comes forward here we had some that wanted to pop out and these are the ones we're going to grab so we have v p a t f and x so those are the letters that we're going to use the letters and the numbers because i'm being told to stop now uh, i'm being told tokens we're actually going to use the tokens for this read so we'll see what comes forward i think we've been taking three when we do it so let's give them a little stir up and three i think i got three in my hand there let's see how many i got yep Ooh. so the first one we got here is the devil I'll plunk them to the side the devil whoa the empress and destiny oh the blank coin destiny the unknowable what the heck is this all about Okay, so are we going to use an oracle deck? No, we are going to move to this one. This is the tarot deck we're going to use for this read. Interesting. So no oracle cards. My spirit guides don't want to use oracle cards. Devil, Empress, and Destiny. Let's see what these have to do with what's going on. Uh, the Knight of oh, Jesus. There's the devil card again, too. The devil card again. What the fuck is going on with these cards? I get a very negative vibe, especially with this Knight of Wands. This is somebody uh, who's very aggressive, somebody who's very angry. Somebody's very angry. Uh, I keep getting spying too. Spying. Two of Cups. Uh, this Whoever this Devil card, this Devil coin represents, I do feel like this is somebody who was involved in a relationship with this empress i do feel like the empress coin is going to be speaking about a person another side of this the hermit card i just feel like somebody's watching somebody's watching like this darker person this darker energy just keeps watching Let me grab a few more why do they keep watching why do we have the seven of cups there which is all about choices and options well they're not freaking healing they're not healing you know what there's another energy in here there's a third energy in this read already uh it's this magician card mm. a, and is directly connected to the darker energy too and they're both jealous of who this empress is who the fuck is this empress this empress this is the vibe that i get i gotta tell you i have these two dark energies over here and then i feel like there's a big gap of space and then there's this empress energy so i don't feel like this empress energy is even really aware that there's so much dark focus on them and the empress doesn't necessarily mean that it is a woman this is somebody who's um sort of finding their self-love somebody who's healing somebody who's growing somebody who's evolving somebody who's coming into a higher vibrational form of self so that could be a man or that could be a woman that doesn't necessarily mean just because right empress that it's a female but we have these two dark energies but they're both jealous and angry for different reasons too jealous and angry for different freaking reasons and one feel like one is like healing from something from the past but the other one these wounds are like fresh and they're growing so like the anger and the resentment and the jealousy is growing page of swords there's the fucking spying spying lies somebody feels cheated on somebody feels wrong this is the wounds that are like slowly accumulating and starting to open up because usually the four of swords is about healing from shit from the past um 
And I do get that vibe for one side of this. Okay, that one side, it's speaking to things from the past, but I feel like this is very current for another one. And I feel like it's like wounds that are reopening. Wounds that are reopening. What? Page of Cups. I do feel like whoever these two dark energies are, these are people who are in a relationship. Okay? That's what's going on because one person's focus is not on this this magician energy whoever the fuck this magician energy is this might be a karmic i don't know but it's like the focus is not on them their partner is focused on this empress from their past that's why they're pissed off because they feel like their partner is still in love with somebody from the past uh, their partner is very angry about shit that happened in the past i don't know if the empress kicked them out or broke up with them or how that went but I feel like this, this Empress energy sits over here in independence and in happiness and growth in a higher vibrational form. And then you got somebody who's pissed off that sees that that person is doing good, pissed off and sees that their ex is, is being happy and building a new life and all of these wonderful things. And they're in a relationship with somebody. I feel like all they do is talk and bitch about what their Empress ex is doing, about how good they're doing and blah, 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 and how much they're so angry at them. And they won't shut up about this person. But the new person they're in a relationship with, which is this magician energy, is getting fucking angrier and angrier and more resentful. They're angry at their partner. They're angry at this empress because they're jealous that this is all their partner is talking about and their partner is so focused on what the empress is doing. Their partner is not focused on them. That's interesting. That's an interesting read. That's a new one here. Uh... You know, and these two people, I'm going to tell you, I don't know if they have gotten married, these two dark energies, or they're planning to get married, but I do feel marriage sits within their situation. Whether they're engaged or talking about getting married, or they have gotten married, because that's fresh. Three of Cups, Four of Wands, there's a wedding, there's, there's marriage. That is more current. That is a more current energy. And it's for those two. Because again, this, this Empress energy. And she is coming forward like the Queen of Pentacles. Does not give a fuck. I got the Four of Cups. She doesn't care what anybody's doing. I think she got news that these people were getting married. Or this, this ex who this Devil card represents. It is that ex. That person tried to get a hold of her and said, Hey, I'm getting married to, to my new person who's the magician, right? And she's like, I don't give a fuck. You do whatever you do. I don't give a fuck. I'm over here rebuilding my life. I'm over here finding happiness. I'm over here finding independence. I don't care what you do over there. I don't care. I'm moving on with my journey. I think that pisses this person right off. Absolutely, I think it pisses them off. Well, and there is the Empress right there, right next to the Hierophant. This Queen of Pentacles, it's the same figure. This person has this higher sense of learning. They're like, man, it was shitty when everything went down. It was shitty when, when we broke up, you know, her heart got broken. This person had to deal with hurts. They had to deal with rebuilding. They're having to deal with healing and all of that. But they're embracing the lessons that have come from it. They're using that to help improve their life and get their feet back under them. And they're looking in a forward direction. They're not looking to the past anymore, but this devil card, which might represent this person's a Capricorn, I'm going to tell you that too, that person, that ex from the past is not moving on. That person is not moving on, even though they have this new marriage type situation happening with another person, they're still focused in the past. They still talk about the past. And you know what? I think they got the better end of the deal when things went through court. Because I do feel like that was a deeper commitment that fell through too. Like there were assets that had to be divided. You know? So even if it wasn't a marriage, these people might have been living together. This empress and the devil. And it was like, there was things that still had to go. And I feel like they had to go through court to be divided. Because I feel like the devil actually wound up with a pretty good chunk of things. Like on the financial end or assets. Like, they, they didn't wind up in the fucking poorhouse, I can tell you that. I feel like they got a pretty good deal on things, but they're still pissed off. They're still pissed off. This is why I couldn't understand why they're so pissed off, and I still don't get it, you know? They have this new life that they're starting, but they can't move forward. They're so focused on the past. They're so focused on their 
Their ex doesn't want nothing to do with them. Their ex is rebuilding. Their ex is finding a new life. Five of Wands, I think. I think there's a lot of drama in the home between these two people. This magician, this devil card. I think they fucking scrap. I think they scrap because Buddy won't shut up about the Empress. Always going on spying. And then I think this magician has started spying on the Empress too. But the magician also spies on the other one because that she's worried about those two having an affair. Because Buddy won't shut up about the Empress. So that is that person's ultimate fear. Okay? Is that this devil is going to go back to the Empress. Going to go seeking a reconciliation. Yeah, there is no happy home. I'm telling you. Whatever they got going on. If they even make it to the altar. It's going to wind up in divorce. They already hate each other's guts. They're already arguing. There is no stability in that home life whatsoever about what's going on over there what the fuck seven of pentacles king of swords uh, his buddy is just on the devil card i feel his energy in this king of swords too like emotionally cold emotionally cold to his new partner but i feel like he was emotionally cold to the empress too I feel like that was part of his shtick he never opened up emotionally he was always kind of cold and now he's just feeling sorry for himself Feeling sorry for his his self, like the seven of pentacles can represent an abundant harvest, but only if you put the groundwork in. This person never puts the groundwork in. This king of swords, this devil figure, this person did not put the groundwork in when they were in a relationship with the empress. They are not putting the groundwork in with this new person. They are turning it into an extremely toxic situation. We have the death card, which is just transition, ending, ending chapters i'm telling you that is whatever that is if they've even made it to the freaking altar it's just gonna wind up in divorce that one's going to shit they are driving it in that direction like i want to know why tarot's bringing this forward too recognition tower oh okay i think they bother our empress every so often i think they pop up in little ways I don't know if this is social media or they make sure that they are in places where they can accidentally bump into them or trying to show off. Uh, they're so angry at our Empress and not done hurting her and so resentful too that they try and go out of their way to do little things to catch the attention of the Empress. And it's like a lie to show them how good they're doing, how happy they are. Uh, it's to try and make this Empress feel like they didn't matter. Especially the more successful this empress gets, the more this person's gonna try and and show off to them and try and hurt them. They might send them random messages, um, little hurtful things too. I don't know if they're sending items back or something like that, or like just trying to bump into them in the same places, but with their new person and then getting like real publicly affectionate like inappropriate kissing and touching with their new person to make sure that the empress sees like it's pretty this person's pretty messed up this person could really use getting their shit together they just won't let it go and maybe that's why it's coming forward maybe it's our empress who's watching and she's been like why does this person you know why do i keep bumping into them why do they seem to go out of their way to do like little things to try and get me to notice what's going on that they're so happy over here why do they keep trying to hurt me it's because they're absolutely fucking miserable they are miserable they have not gotten over you uh and they are ruining whatever new relationship they have by going out of their way to try and mess with you the two of swords they don't want you to see what's really going on behind the scenes, which is shit is absolutely falling apart. Absolutely. They are so hyper-focused on what happened between the two of you, how that went, still trying to make you jealous, make you desire them. <laughs> they are absolutely ruining something else that they have. The lover's card, the fool, the hanging man. Hmm. Uh, it's funny, and then I just got three cards in a row that just said, like, you're blocking them, you're moving on, you're moving forward, you're not paying attention. I think this is pissing them off even more, that they can't, they can't access you easily, that they have a hard time sort of catching up with you or, or rattling your cage. They don't want to see you happy, they don't want to see you moving on. 
because they still haven't moved on. They got a lot of baggage, this person, the Ten of Pentacles, but this is everything you're moving towards. You're moving towards the Ten of Pentacles. That's wealth, that's legacy, that's abundance, that's everything you're building for yourself. And it doesn't mean it's an overnight journey. It might be a slow and steady one, but you're making the progress. And I feel like you're changing your aura as a person too. So finding more self-confidence, being happier in your own skin, it starts to radiate from you. People notice. You might not even notice that it comes through, but people do notice. And this person noticed. They notice it. They're miserable in their own skin. So they can't stand that you're getting happy. That's driving them absolutely nuts. I don't know why the destiny coin came forward. Why did the destiny, the unknowable coin come forward? Tarot, can you let me know? Eight of wands. Oh shit. That's why. That's why eight of wands. This person's going to communicate with you. They're going to reach out to communicate with you. Page of coins. Wheel of fortune. Hmm. What are they offering? What are they moving forward? That page of pentacles. Can you give me a little bit more clarity, Tarot? Why are they reaching out? What are they trying to bring forward? Trouble. Trouble. I think this is when their new relationship goes down the shitter. I think this person's going to reach out to you. Absolutely. I think they're going to reach out to you. We just got the moon card too, which again is unknowable. It's secrets. The ten of swords. Backstabbing. I don't know. I think... Ooh, you know what? It's not even when the relationship comes to an end. I think they're just in a rough patch with this person. And I think they're going to look to come back. Like they want to start up some kind of cheating triangle and try and drag you into it as if the Empress does not get involved in shit like that. Not even almost. I like whatever they come at you with, you just look at them like they're like a liar and a sneak now. You know, you, you see them for what they are. Your intuition is, is going like mad. You're like, something's up here. Something's wrong. This is nothing I want any part of. And I think you cut them down with the truth. I think you cut them down with the truth that you know what they're all about. You're not going to believe any of their lies. But that destiny coin, that destiny coin, uh, I'm being told the word when, when they pop up. That's the unknowable. That's the unknowable. There's still a lot that has to come into play. I think the life that they're living is turning into chaos. They're driving their relationship to shit because they can't stop talking about the Empress. They're so angry, but they're still in love with the Empress. They want their cake and they want to eat it too. And they want to shake this Empress's life up. I don't know. This person's a hot mess. I keep feeling their energy is all over the fucking place. Nothing good is coming their way. Our Empress, the best thing our Empress can do is to block. Just keep blocking, keep blocking, severing ties, focusing on herself like she's doing our empress and being able to build and move forward and build her own life because this devil card whoever this person is they are toxic they are toxic and they are negative in whoever's life that they're involved they were negative in our empress's life and they are negative in the new person's life too and that's a whole lot of fucking chaos and drama that this empress does not need my god guys that is quite the read have a great day everyone